Hi everyone, good afternoon. Please let me know if I am visible and audible. Please let me know if I am visible as well as audible. Good evening, good afternoon. Good evening or good afternoon, whatever works for you. All right, wonderful. Wonderful. Now, welcome to today's class. Today is a really, really exciting class because I'm going to tell you where exactly you should be starting your preparation. We know that the NET psychology exam is done and if you want to start your preparation or resume your preparation, you want to start your preparation somewhere or you are just you know, not feeling as motivated since the exam date gets pushed again and again, you don't know when your results will come, you don't know when you know, your scores will come and you don't know when your selection or whatever will happen. So let me tell you today what are some books you can actually use for self-study. And if you want to study in-depth, then topic-wise, unit-wise, I will point out to books. I will tell you what general psychology books you should prefer as well. This actually not only goes for net JRF, since I do teach for GATE, since I do teach for clinical psychology as well. These books will be very, very helpful for those areas as well. If you have any PhD entrance, you will books these books, it will be done. Okay, Chalo. wonderful. Um, I hope I am, like I said, I hope I am visible, audible and all of that. Wonderful. Good afternoon. Chaliye, start karte hain. Jaldi, jaldi se. Let's go ahead. This is going to be a quick session. So I will try to give you as much information as I can in as little time as possible. I'm Hapsa Malik. I'm your top educator for psychology on Unacademy for the NTA UGC net platform. So we will books and more scoring topics here today for net JRF psychology. Like I said, this will be exams ke liye bhi kafi helpful for other exams. I will tell you, I will point out particularly and I will also tell you five most scoring topics in each and every unit that you should focus on before going to other topics. I will break down karke unit wise that you have 10 units, if you start with one unit, you will start with 5 topics. If you think that the syllabus is enough, you can master the first 5 topics and then you can master the other topics. Ke, um, you know, uh, ko basically cover the other topics. Slowly, slowly. So do this first. Chalo, hai. This is a little bit about me. Um, I am eagerly waiting for the upcoming results of the exam. Results, in my opinion, should be out in October. October mein aa jane chahiye results, mid-October. Um, and then we will start, you know, I've already started a batch. I'm starting a new course for GATE as well, very soon, 21st September ko. So if you do want to join, if you want to come study with me, please go ahead. Um, today is the last day for this very, very cool offer jaha aapko 20% off milega apni subscription pay. All you need to do is when you are subscribing, use the code Hafsa Live, which is just my name and the word Live. Theek hai? I'll write it down over here as well. All right, wonderful. Chani, let's go. Haan, to this I have already explained to you. Let's just, let's get started. Let's get started. So first of all, I will tell you before you move on to particular books. Isse pehle ke aap ek ek chapter ke liye ek ek book le le. Ma aapko ye kahungi ke aap ek general psychology book lo. Thik hai, you will take one general psychology book and you will thoroughly cover it. So, पहले आपको ये करना है उसके बाद आप specific topics पे जा सकते हो uh, in my opinion uh, chicharelli or um, chicharelli whatever you want to call it please don't call it cicerelli uh, is really good it's a really really good book it covers everything in depth almost all topics जैसे theories of emotions and बाकी चीजें उसके लिए तो आपको जरूरत भी नहीं है particular book की ठीक है और बेसिक बायोलॉजी ऑफ ब्रेन बेसिक प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द ब्रेन उसके लिए भी आपको स्पेसिफिक बुक की जरूरत नहीं है नाउ दिस डेविड मायर्स की जो जनरल साइकोलॉजी बुक है दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली अमेजिंग ऑलराइट सेकंड एडिशन थर्ड एडिशन व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू गो फॉर एब्सोल्युटली अमेजिंग वेरी वेरी वेल एक्सप्लेन वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव एंड वेरी इजी एंड वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एज़ वेल उसके बाद आप कहोगे कि what if I have Barron's book and all of that. I personally have not studied Barron for general psychology. I have gone through Atkinson and Hilgard. ये भी काफी अच्छी book है. I don't suggest uh, Morgan and King. I myself have read. I myself have studied from Morgan and King. I think वो net के लिए अच्छा नहीं है क्योंकि वो ज़्यादा stories देता है और अच्छा uh, content जो theoretical होना चाहिए उसमें काफी नहीं है. 
All right. Okay. ठीक है प्लीज राइट डाउन मेक नोट यू विल नॉट गेट द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस तो आप बुक्स के भी नाम लिख सकते हो और फिर आप यू कैन इधर लुक फॉर दी डी एफ लॉट ऑफ देम विल बी अवेलेबल और यू कैन परचेज वन टू टू ऑफ देम आपको सारी बुक्स परचेज करने की जरूरत नहीं है इफ यू आर ए स्टूडेंट एंड देर इज अ लाइब्रेरी अवेलेबल ज्यादातर आपकी जो कॉलेज या यूनिवर्सिटी लाइब्रेरी है उसमें भी आपको ये बुक्स मिलेंगी एंड आप वहां से बोरो कर सकते हो फोटो कॉपी थोड़ा सा कर सकते हो एंड देन वापस दे सकते हो ऑल राइट ठीक है सो आई विल सजेस्ट पहले आप थरोली क्या कवर करो दैट यू टेक एनी जनरल साइकोलॉजी बुक एंड यू थरोली कवर इट एंड ओनली आफ्टर दिस इज डन आई विल सजेस्ट फॉर यू टू गो इन टू डेप्थ फॉर ईच एंड एवरी यूनिट टेकिंग अ पर्टिकुलर बुक ठीक है चलिए वंडरफुल चलो लेट्स गो इसके बाद क्या करेंगे सो फॉर सी इफ यू ज्वाइन माई कोर्स अगेन इट्स टोटली अप टू यू अगर आप मेरे साथ स्टडी कर रहे हैं आपको किसी भी बुक की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज आई एम कवरिंग फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ दीज बुक्स ऑलरेडी पर्टिकुलर पार्ट विच यू रिक्वायर सो इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी स्टडिंग विद मी यू डू नॉट नीड टू डू एनी ऑफ इट एक्सेप्ट फॉर जस्ट हैविंग सम ग्रास ओवर जनरल और बेसिक टॉपिक्स विच यू कैन गेट फ्रॉम एनी इलेवन ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड बुक ऑल्सो ठीक है ओके ऑल राइट सो आई होप आई हैव आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन बिफोर यू आस Now here, this is actually a really good book. अगर आप इमरजेंस ऑफ साइकोलॉजी में वेस्टर्न पार्ट फिलोसफर्स का पार्ट स्टडी करना चाहते हैं हिस्ट्री ऑफ साइकोलॉजी बाय हर्गन हान इज एक्चुअली रियली रियली अमेजिंग बुक ये फिलोसफी जो साइकोलॉजी की है उसको काफी एक्सप्लेन करता है दिस एक्सप्लेन लिटिल बिट ऑफ पैराडाइम्स इज वेल अनादर रियली नाइस सोर्स इज स्टैंडफर्ड ई डी यू ओके स्टैंडफर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी जो है उसका जो अपना पेज है तो वहां पे काफी अच्छा कंटेंट मिलता है आपको रिगार्डिंग पॉजिटिविज्म रिगार्डिंग यू नो एनी एंड एवरी पैराडाइम इनफैक्ट रिगार्डिंग एनी एंड एवरी फिलोसफर इज वेल एंड इट इज एन ऑथेंटिक सोर्स बिकॉज इट इज स्टैंडफर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी व्हिच इज पब्लिशिंग दैट मटेरियल वो सिर्फ एक ब्लॉग नहीं है ओके okay, तो यहाँ पे एक्चुअली तो एक्चुअली यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है आपको अच्छा कंटेंट मिलेगा दोनों जगहों से मिलेगा फ्रॉम बोथ द प्लेसेज यूल गेट रॉली रॉली गुड कंटेंट Ma'am, is there any fresh batch in December? There will be another batch starting in December. Um, yeah, after this one finishes. Yes, definitely. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi, guys. Hi, Prince. Also, hi, Aisha, Tulika, and okay. Chalo, ठीक है. उसके बाद, now this uh, Pranjapi's book is actually really good. It is a lot better than Professor uh, Gireshwar Mishra's and Sunit uh, Verma's book. This one is a lot better. अगर आप Indian psychology core पढ़ना चाहते हो which is especially hinduism buddhism and all that really really well explained over here okay agar aap yahan se study karna chahte ho eastern part really really good yogic cognition and all of that is also explained here although you have to really sift through the book matlab aapko dhoondna padta hai wo but this is a beautifully written book and it explains how psychology came about and how the indian psychology that we have today emerged theek hai यहाँ पे भी आपको हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन साइकोलॉजी मिलेगा एंड यू विल आल्सो गेट सॉर्ट ऑफ एकेडमिक साइकोलॉजी पार्ट सो इफ यू आर टीचिंग दिस इज रिसोर्सफुल एंड दिस इज रियली नाइस अगर आप इंडियन साइकोलॉजी पढ़ा रहे हो um, तो दिस इज रियली गुड ऑल राइट ओके फाइन वंडरफुल देन व्हाट वी हैव नाउ फाइव मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आर स्कूल्स ऑफ साइकोलॉजी योगा इंटेग्रल एज वेल एज पतंजलि योगा इनफैक्ट योगिक कॉग्निशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन यू हैव रेलिजियस साइकोलॉजी वॉट डू आई मीन ओवर हिया यहाँ आपका हिंदुइज्म बुद्धिज्म एंड सूफिज्म दीज थ्री रेलिजन या इनकी साइकोलॉजी इनके स्पेशली पार्ट टू एनलाइटनमेंट एंड फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स मोस्ट ऑफ दैम फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ दैम I have taken free classes. Do you have to find them? Even if you Google them, even if you check on YouTube, you will find them. You can find them on my free Unacademy classes as well. If you join my group, यहाँ पे आपको मिलेगा Net with Hafsa. चल, ठीक है. Then ontology versus epistemology. Just having a basic understanding of what a paradigm is. This is really helpful. कभी कभी direct questions आते हैं on different types of ontology. and on different types of epistemology you can at least navigate your way through it or towards it agar aapko basic knowledge hai yahan pe and that basic knowledge you do need to have again if you check the last 2 3 years papers hamesha ek question aata hai from greek philosophers 
you can add rene descartes here also because he was the next person to revive the argument of monism and dualism to so greek philosophers or rene descartes ko aap add karo to you will definitely get one question in the exam theek hai to isse aapko thoda interest bhi aa jayega and after you do these five most important topics most scoring topics actually i have kept here for you you will gain a lot more confidence when you're going and solving question theek hai chaliye then what do we have then what about research and statistics Now, if you want to do research basics, I really suggest A.K. Singh. ठीक है? अगर आप research basics study करना चाहते हैं, तो जाइए A.K. Singh. Even testing, testing as well as research. What is an experimental design? What is a quasi-experimental design, and all of that. Except for that, most of the research part, except for the basics, can be done from Hugh Culligan. The newest edition, very colorful, very well explained. Formulae are given. Even effect size is beautifully explained. तो इजी से डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक्स तक आपका सारा जो रिसर्च पार्ट है ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ इट यू कैन फाइंड इन यू कुलिकन ऑल दो आई यूज अदर बुक्स आल्सो आई डू नॉट सजेस्ट मिनियम इट इज वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आई हैव माय सेल्फ यूज इट फॉर मास्टर्स एंड आई प्रेफर यू कुलिकन ओवर इट मच लाइक देर इज नो कंपेरिजन ऑल राइट चलिए ठीक है नाउ देर इज ऑल्सो दिस रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी दिस वन बाय कोठारी and this is also quite nice now this gives you basically easy to understand language because after all this is an indian publication so this is fine but then i will still suggest you kulikan's book over everything else okay chaliye theek hai again especially if you teach if you teach then this is the book all right now what are five most important topics according to me from unit number 2 unit number 2 se sabse zyada important topics kaun se hain पहली बात आप अनोवा एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरिएंस के जो अलग अलग टाइप्स हैं द होल प्रेमिसेस और द बेसिक बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ योर अनोवा यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड आप इसके बगैर नहीं कर सकते रिसर्च यू विल नेवर स्कोर वन वर्ड इन द पैसेज रिसर्च पैराग्राफ इफ यू हैव नो आइडिया व्हाट एन अनोवा डिजाइन इज एनालिसिस ऑफ वेरियंस क्या होता है वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजाइन वॉट इज बिटवीन वॉट इज विद इन वॉट इज रिपीटेड वॉट इज नॉट All of that you have to understand. There's no way around it. फिर उसके बाद आता है आपका degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom for t-test, for chi-square, for all of your parametric tests. You need to know. You really need to know. And I swear that will give you a lot of marks. And ये जब आप समझेंगे, it's not that difficult. It's not that complicated. I have taken full full free classes on this. You can go ahead and watch them as well and learn. Now, non-parametric alternatives of all tests. अगर आप ये Google भी करोगे तो वो आपको एक table दे देगा. And this is again a very scoring topic because this is just basic memorization. You can do it on your own as well. यहाँ पे सिर्फ आपको ये समझना है कि एक parametric test जब हम नहीं use कर सकते, तो non-parametric उसका alternative कौन सा होगा? Okay? That's all you need to know and understand here, and you can do it. Now another really really scoring topic. Once you understand the basic premise of correlation, जब आप basic correlation design को समझते हैं, तो तब आप आराम से special correlations को भी understand कर सकते हो. Again, there are free classes on this. You can go ahead, watch, understand. Very scoring in research as well as in testing. ठीक है. Lastly, getting a basic understanding of factor analysis can be life changing. अगर आप actual में समझते हो कि factor analysis correlational design है. You will understand why we don't do cause and effect here. You will understand what you know uh, cross loading is. You will understand what kind of a design we want. What is exploratory here? What is not, and all of that. जब आप basic understanding इसकी रखते हो, तो paragraphs करना भी आपके लिए possible है. Again, a lot of times paragraphs are given on factor analysis. Therefore, very very important for you to go through this. चलिए. Now unit number three. What do we have? हमारे पास यही ए के सिंह की बुक है फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द टेस्टिंग पार्ट आई स्वेयर टू यू यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू ए के सिंह टेस्ट आर एक्सप्लेन ब्यूटिफुली हियर यहाँ पे टेस्ट को काफी अच्छी तरह से एक्सप्लेन किया गया है रिलायबिलिटी वेलिडिटी को अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन किया गया है डिफिकल्टी डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इंडिस आर एक्सप्लेन देन यू ऑल्सो हैव फाउंडेशन ऑफ साइकोलॉजिकल टेस्टिंग बाय लेजली मिलर and of course you have the one by anastasi i personally have started referring a lot more to anastasi even though the book i have is a little bit of an older edition still like uh, what do i say very very valuable knowledge absolutely priceless very very good book anastasi wali beautiful book well explained has good details has what you need for the exam 
a lot of questions are directly given from this jo aapki anastasi ki book hai yahan pe testing ki aapke bahut sare questions exam mein directly yahan se aate hain and then ak singh is also like a you know a fan favorite for the nta exam and your phd entrances as well so please make sure to go through it because a lot of times directly from this they give question seedha isse kabhi aapke questions aa jate hain to ye refer karna zaruri hai testing ke liye okay then what are the most five important topics that i will tell you from testing from testing first of all if you don't understand reliability and validity you cannot do anything theek hai aapko reliability aur validity ka concept aur alag alag tarah ki reliability aur validity samajhni hai their purpose how they are tested you have to there is no other way okay then we have item analysis jisme difficulty aur discrimination aata hai in the last few years net has consistently been asking questions on these and once you understand the concept of uh, difficulty and discrimination aapke liye kafi easy hoga to do what to actually make sense of how tests are interpreted test ko interpret kaise karte hain test ko administer kaise karte hain kyun aise karte hain okay all right then attitude skills a lot of times again there are free classes available on all of these so please go search to your heart's content please learn please uh, i should not say please because you know when you actually try to encourage people to do something they are less likely to do it because kids are rebel so i should say if you want to learn go ahead and check it out attitude skills attitude skills kafi important topic hai in the last 3 to 4 net exams there has always been one to two questions on this topic is topic pe at least one to two questions aaye hain last teen char uh, exam se to ye to pakka karna hai and i swear to you this is one of those topics that makes you feel a lot smarter because hame logic samajh aata hai ki questionnaire jaisa hai ye aisa kyun banaya hai why have we created a test questionnaire in a certain way theek hai uske baad weschler's intelligence test no matter which exam you write you have to do this and along with this you will learn percentile rank and this when you learn this percentile rank deviation iq your life will change i promise you i am not even exaggerating जब आप ये टॉपिक अच्छे से मास्टर कर लेंगे एवरीथिंग विल चेंज योर इंटरेस्ट लेवल्स एंड देन योर योर मास्टरी ऑन यू नो साइकोलॉजी इन जनरल एंड टेस्टिंग इन जनरल यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर ऑफ टेस्ट एंड स्कोरिंग ऑफ टेस्ट लॉट बेटर उसके बाद पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट विद लाइफ स्केल्स तो आपका एम एम पी आई अगेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ईपी क्यू ऑल वर्जन ऑफ ईपी क्यू ईपी आई मॉडसली टेस्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट these are the only ones that have life scales or ye aapko karna hai you should know uh, what kind of scale is present in which test even if you don't have in depth understanding of the test just knowing what the test measures and does it have this particular scale that particular scale that is very very important chaliye good so far okay able to note that Okay, all right. Okay, <laughs> all right. Chal. So, what about biological basis of behavior? I will suggest for students. I will suggest Galat, and for teachers, if you do go and teach uh, bio psychology, I suggest Pinel. ठीक है. तो इसमें language is a little easier in Galat, and there are a lot of tables. और राइट इसमें टेबल्स काफी सारे हैं अगेन यू विल मोस्टली फाइंड दिस इन योर कॉलेज और योर यूनिवर्सिटी लाइब्रेरी यू कैन जस्ट गो यू कैन रेफर टू इट वेन एवर यू फाइंड द टाइम और यू कैन इवन गेट सम चैप्टर्स फोटो कॉपीड वे यू नीड इन डेप नॉलेज जहां पे आपको लगता है कि चाहिए आपको इन डेप नॉलेज तो ये जो है कलेट की बुक स्टूडेंट्स के लिए आई विल रेकमेंड दिस एंड फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हू डू टीच आई विल आस्क यू टू रेफर टू पिनेल यू कैन यूज बोथ ऑल्सो या दोनों में से एक काफी अगर आपके दोनों आपके पास दोनों में से एक है इज मोर देन इनफ प्रिटी मच सिमिलर कंटेंट सम टॉपिक्स आर प्रेजेंट इन वन एंड नॉट इन दी अदर लाइक मोटिवेशन ऑफ हंगर एंड थर्स्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट थोड़ा सा ज्यादा डिटेल है इन सम प्लेसेस फॉर पिनेल यू हैव एनाटमी इन ग्रेटर डिटेल वेर इज इन कलेट यू हैव थिंग्स लाइक दैट हंगर थर्स्ट एंड दिस इन दैट इन उसके बाद वॉट आर फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू मी ओवर हियर You should know anatomy and functioning of the brain. सब से यह आप general psychology book से भी कर सकते हैं Anatomy या basic basic functioning brain की आप general psychology book से भी कर सकते हैं और ये काफी easy you know 
आपके लिए पूरा यूनिट इजी बनाएगा बिकॉज यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड डिस फंक्शन यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड लीजन यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इमेजिंग टेक्निक्स इफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द एनाटमी एंड द पोजिशनिंग ऑफ द ब्रेन आप कुछ नहीं अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे अगर आप ये नहीं समझेंगे there are special classes for everything then another one is action potential this is one of those anchor topics yahan se questions hamesha aate hain and isko samajhna kafi zaruri hai for you to be able to understand anything when you don't know how a neuron functions how can you know anything else hai na jab aapko neuron ki function hi nahi pata to fir aap brain ki function pad ke kya karoge so it's very very important to understand how neurons communicate within each within the neuron and then later neurotransmission also you can do lesions very simple topic you can easily understand reversible non reversible uh, what is a chemical lesion what is an electrical lesion and so on and so forth very very important topic isse kafi questions aate hain uske baad aapki imaging techniques you have probably been doing this right from 9th grade ye biology mein bhi aata hai right Like I said, you've probably been doing this from school itself. CT scan क्या होता है, MRI scan क्या होता है, EEG and this and that. Not difficult at all. Um, if you actually try to read and study, या आपको किसी भी basic book में भी मिलेगा. You do not need any specific book for it. Pituitary gland function. Why am I telling you here? For a lot of students, the endocrine glands can get a little bit overwhelming. I do not know why, or they do not find it as interesting as parts of the brain. तो यहाँ पे अगर आप सिर्फ पिटोटरी ग्लैंड की फंक्शन करोगे ये मोस्ट आस टॉपिक है यहाँ से तो आपको टू मार्क्स एटलीस्ट मिलेंगे यहाँ पे एंड दिस विल क्रिएट एन इंटरेस्ट इन टू वॉट डज द रेस्ट ऑफ द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम डू देन वॉट वी हैव वी हैव यूनिट नंबर फाइव विच इज परसेप्शन लर्निंग एंड मेमोरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव मेनी बुक्स ऑन कॉग्नेटिव साइकोलॉजी आई विल से इफ यू एक्चुअली हैव द सब्सक्रिप्शन प्रेफर द सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर दिस डोंट गो लुकिंग फॉर बुक्स बिकॉज यहाँ पे एक एक थ्योरी एक एक बुक में मिलती है ओके आई रेफर टू फाइव और सिक्स बुक्स मैन आई टीच कॉग्नेटिव साइकोलॉजी एंड इंटेलिजेंस बिकॉज इन्फॉर्मेशन इज स्कैटर्ड एंड यू डू नॉट ऑलवेज गेट द सेम इन्फॉर्मेशन इन डिफरेंट बुक तो सोल सोज बुक इज एक्चुअली रली रली गुड फॉर टॉपिक्स लाइक परसेप्शन फॉर टॉपिक्स लाइक थिंकिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट uh for theories of memory as well i think connectionist models are explained well attention theories are explained well cognitive psychology by sternberg also explains perception really really well so perception or attention or you know intelligence not intelligence but uh, thinking and concept learning and all of that for that these are really really good and i for memory agar aapko detail mein padhna hai memory and models of memory then um, cognition by matlin is actually really good for memory memory there are many many theories and there are many theories of forgetting also although you can do whatever is given here from a general psychology book as well ye unit mein aapko general psychology book se karna suggest karungi like i said very very scattered information you get there is another book called sensation and perception as well by goldstein i think that's a beautiful book if you actually have the time or the energy like i said if you teach that is a really good book to understand perception things like uh, kya hota hai wo um what do we call it what do we call it when we talk on the phone not dichotic listening um and there's a static sound what do we call that what do we call that effect so that is explained beautifully over there never mind changes in perception illusions in perception explain very very well in goldstein all right chaliye i will remember it then i'll tell you what topic i was talking about so yahan pe what are my five actually most scoring topics for you uh for learning i will suggest mazur's book although any general psychology book will work as well agar aapko learning ki theories in depth karni hai kyunki classical conditioning aur operant conditioning mein supporting theories kafi hain let's say garcia's theory you will not see um on uh, the test a version right you will not see rescorla's theory you will not see seligman's learned helplessness theory in every book so here by james mazur really really good book okay if you can actually tolerate a little bit of spelling mistake and some looking through igno material is actually really good as well all right the content the amount of content covered although a lot of times they refer to wikipedia for it content covered sometimes is really nice and they do cover most of your net syllabus masters mein wo net syllabus mostly karate hain so if you don't have access to these books refer to igno material it's not that bad 
इट्स नॉट द बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड बट इट्स नॉट ऑल राइट ठीक है देन वोर वी हैव ओवर हियर डेप्थ परसेप्शन इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड बाय देन यू विल ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड कि जैस टाइल साइकोलॉजी का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन क्या है सो डेप्थ परसेप्शन टॉप डाउन एज वेल एज बॉटम अप वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट then uh, skinner schedules of reinforcement especially partial schedules of reinforcement very important um easy also if you understand them uske baad classical conditioning and then how actually hull took inspiration from classical conditioning and how he did a theory uh, of sr conditioning which was actually inspired from classical conditioning very very important very very fun and interesting as well information processing approach to memory sabse pehle aap karenge atkinson schifrin theory This is the base of other theories as well. जो बाकी की theories हैं वो या तो इसके opposition में है या तो इसके support में है तो वो काफी फिर आपके लिए easy होगा अगर आप पहले ये theory करते हो उसके बाद forgetting is a very important topic. So there are two major theories, even though there is motivated forgetting or uh, retrieval failure, but decay theory of forgetting and interference theory of forgetting very very important. Please do both of them. Again, you will find these in any general psychology. Okay, next we have unit number six. Uh, for thinking part, like I said, you can do from here. But for intelligence theories, I will suggest intelligence and creativity from a general psychology book. And then I have found this book. I don't think it is popular, but यहाँ पे पूरी आपकी intelligence theories दी हैं in depth. So this is a really good book if you can find it in your library. ठीक है? By John Malby and Liz Day. अगर आपको ये मिलती है पियर्सन पब्लिकेशन दिस इज रियली रियली गुड एक्चुअली फॉर इंटेलिजेंस थियोरीज सम इंटेलिजेंस थियोरीज आर एक्सप्लेन वेल इवन इन लॉरा बर्क व्हिच इज अ डेवलपमेंटल डेवलपमेंटल थियोरीज की बुक तो वहां पे भी आप थोड़ा सा रेफर कर सकते सो व्हाट आर माय मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर यू हियर ह्यूरिस्टिक्स डेफिनेटली थिंकिंग में आता है ये प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्ट्रेटजीज व्हिच आर यूजफुल एंड व्हिच आर नॉट यूजफुल ऑफन नेट विल आस्क क्वेश्चंस ऑन दिस Spearman's two-factor theory, which is the base of most intelligence theories, Binet's theory not that popular. Spearman's theory very popular. Binet's test is very important, not so much his theory. Theories that supported him. So, आपको यहाँ पे जब आप Spearman की theory समझेंगे, आप दूसरी theories भी समझेंगे क्योंकि वो सारी जो हैं या तो support करती हैं Spearman को या तो उनके खिलाफ. ठीक है? Chomsky, Noam Chomsky and B. F. Skinner two different approaches to language development. very very important dono pe hamesha questions aate hain either one or the other is asked then we have the threshold hypothesis given by gilford of intelligence and creativity that correlation is up to a certain point only right positive correlation but yahan pe jo background study hai wo bhi aapko malum honi chahiye what happened correlation was found between who and who which students and all of that lastly sternberg strayer ki theory and his theory of wisdom ye kafi badi theory hai ये ऐसे लगती है छोटी बिकॉज देर इज नो फैक्टर एनालिसिस बट देर आर कॉम्पोनेट्स एंड देर आर सब कॉम्पोनेट्स एंड फॉर एवरी कॉम्पोनेंट देर आर मोर कॉम्पोनेट्स सो यू हैव टू डू ऑल ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस एंड देर सब थियोरीज इज वेल तो ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके प्लीज मेक श्योर टू डू इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ दिस यूनिट देन वॉट अबाउट यूनिट नंबर सेवन पर्सनैलिटी मोटिवेशन इमोशंस एंड स्ट्रेस Emotions, I suggest that आप जनरल साइकोलॉजी बुक से करें देर आर ओनली दो थ्री टू फोर थियोरीज डोंट नीड टू बॉदर मोर दैट दैट देन वॉट अबाउट मोटिवेशन मोटिवेशन इज बेटर टू डू फ्रॉम एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल साइकोलॉजी बुक ऑल दो यू विल फाइंड दिस प्रॉपरली इन अ जनरल साइकोलॉजी बुक ऑल्सो द मायर्स बुक दर आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट एन ऑल ऑफ दैट वहां पर भी आपको काफी है मिलेगा um, Where else will you find? i recently found good content on conflicts motivational conflicts i'll let you guys know personality ke liye i have found this charles wally book to be the best um it makes the content really interesting it gives you background information as well information is accurate information is to the point and you know beautiful beautiful beautifully put and very 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 good uh, summarization of all the theories that you find in personality so hall this one is really good as well i myself prefer charles if you have charles you don't need the other one and if you have this then you don't need the charles and then for health psychology or for stress and coping i will suggest this shelley taylor's book theek hai this is better than all of the other ones serafino or whatever it is this one is good 
This one is good. This one is very, very good. You will be covering health psychology, which is the 10th unit ka part, hai, that also. And you will also be covering um, your stress and coping part, which is part of your uh, unit number 7. Don't know you can cover it here. If you're doing it on your own. If you're doing it with me, then I will obviously be covering it for you. So, what the top 5 topics kya Freud's personality and development theory. Now, Freud's overview of personality or personality development. Ka wo se kar lo. Again, from Freud's theory is where either in opposition or in support other theories exist. Baki kuch nahi hai. Cattell 16 PF theory, very, very important. Cattell, very important person in terms of intelligence as well as personality. Yahan pe bas ye samajna ki content theory kya hota hai, process theory kya hota hai, motivation ki. Or is ko basically matlab, kaun -kaun si theories, which theories are content theories and which theories are process theories. Very, very important to understand. Then motivational conflict by Kurt Lewin. Okay, and later elaborated by Dollard and Miller. Very, very important. Last five to six exams, there has always been a, a, at least one question. Even if the question is incorrect, but always a question comes from here. Again, I have taken free classes on these. You can go ahead and watch. Lastly, theories of emotions. Very simple. Just four theories hain. Jo aapko master karni hai. You have the James Lange theory supporting that is the facial feedback theory. You have uh, also the Cannon Bar theory, Shakhtar Singer theory. And then you have your Lazarus' cognitive appraisal theory. But uh, definitely you will get at least one question. And that is, you know, an easy score over there. Because the theories are quite easy. They are quite small. And zyada kuch pushte nahi. Sida sida pushte. Unit number eight, which seems to be, which is mostly people's either hated or loved unit. This is social psychology. Social psychology, mein, I will ask you to go with Baron. Baron is much more simple than Hogg and Vaughan. I generally use these two books, which actually AK Singh ki social psychology. Hai. It's really nice as well, especially Indian context. Ke liye. English is simple, hai, toh language is simple. Hai. I think it, it is available in Hindi also. So, you know, you can refer to these three books. There is one book that is enough. If you have a Baron's book, then Baron Social Psychology is absolutely beautiful. Again, good summarization. Tables are given. Graphics are given. Things are explained in a very easy way. A casing book also. Good quality. Alright. Okay. Okay. Then what are some important topics here? First thing I will ask you to do, Darley and Latinese Decision Stage Model of Helping. I have done basics in pre-classes. I have done this. Persuasion, Principles of Persuasion by Cialdini, Six Principles of Persuasion, very, very important. A realistic Group Conflict Theory by Muzaffar Sheriff, very, very important. There are many questions that Cognitive Dissonance, one of the most fun topics to study in social psychology, very important from exam perspective also. After that, Milgram's Obedience Study. Hai na? Actually, you should study karna chahiye. Milgram's Study is the first study that you should uh, you know, look into over here. Very, very interesting, very, very intriguing, and of course, high school. Okay, I hope you're all noting down whatever I'm telling you over here. Now, we just have two more units to talk about. So, quickly, let's get into it and let's try to understand. So, human development mein kya hota hai? And then, human development mein kya hota hai? You have your prenatal development, your physical, emotional, social, language, all of that can be covered through Laura Burke. Best book that I have come across on development, although jo aapki general psychology books hain, wo aapko dengi. But aapko agar especially aap DSSSB ke liye apply kar rho, EVGC ke liye apply kar rho, um, if you want to apply for clinical psychology, this is the best book to understand development because wahan pe development related kaapi saari questions aate hai. Very, very, again, beautifully put all of the information. Theories are explained in depth, in great detail and well summarized. And then for abnormal psychology and disorders, you can go for this one. You can go for the, we call it the butcher book, although there are like five people who have written it. Um, so this is really good. This is really, really good. And updated, I have your DSM-5 ka content. Hai to kaafi hai. DSM-5 or DSM-5 TR, there are no other changes. There are no major changes. Nahi hai, so you can just go for this. Okay, then what are my five top topics for you over here? Erickson's psychosocial development. Before anything else, if you have already Freud's ki theory, ki hai, to Erickson ki kar lo. always you get a question. Piaget's theory, cannot miss it. Vygotsky's theory, please don't call him Vygotsky. 
विगोत्सकी इज थ्योरी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंगजाइटी एंड स्की जो फ्रेन यू आर टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिसऑर्डर्स इन माई ओपिनियन um understanding other disorders when you understand these two first gets a lot easier agar aap darte ho disorders ke bare mein padhne se to pehle aap in do se start karo uske baad aapke liye sab kafi easy ho jayega uske baad sirf ye samajhna ki insight therapy kya hota hai non insight therapy kya hota hai talk therapy aur behavioral therapy kya hota hai dono mein difference kya hai isko agar aap samjhenge to this is really really good this is what is um this is where you should start with if you're trying to understand therapies चलिए लास्ट यूनिट विच इज आर टेंथ यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रियली रियली क्विकली इन इमर्जिंग एरिया आई विल सजेस्ट कि आप थोड़ा सा ओवरव्यू कर लो एंड अ लॉट ऑफ दीज आई हैव टेकन फ्री क्लासेस ऑन दिस इज दिस दिस कंटेंट इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड ये इजिली ये कंटेंट नहीं मिलता है ये एक्चुअली अलग अलग बुक से ढूंढना पड़ता है लाइक टाइप्स ऑफ वेल बींग आई हैव रेफर टू फॉर द पर्मा मॉडल आई हैव रेफर टू सेलिगम फ्लरिशिंग बुक for the VIA classification system i have gone to the university of pennsylvania website and wahan unhone jo publish kiya hai wo sabse zyada authentic hai to yahan pe again the health part i have taken or i refer to from taylor and then there are general psychology books also which talk about cancer and aids and stuff chronic diseases biology part jo aapki biological basis ke liye books hain so here a lot of effort has to be put into actually looking for the information i have taken free classes on these i will suggest go to an academy look at the free classes you don't have to do anything you don't have to put in a lot of effort uh, digital may be digital psychology i have taken free classes go watch them if you can't do that if you still you're like nahi nahi i want to look on my own do types of poverty what is poverty and types of poverty you will find this in detail social psychology books also उसके बाद पॉजिटिव साइकोलॉजी क्या होता है कैरेक्टर स्ट्रेंथ्स क्या होती हैं व्हाट इज वैल्यूज इन एक्शन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अदर वेल बींग थ्योरीज आल्सो एक्चुअली बट आप यहां से स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं उसके बाद साइको न्यूरो इम्यूनोलॉजी बॉडी इज रिएक्शन टू स्ट्रेस यू कैन डू इट इन स्ट्रेस इन कोपिंग ऑल्सो एंड यू कैन डू इट सेपरेटली हियर एज पार्ट ऑफ हेल्थ साइकोलॉजी ऑल्सो आपकी मर्जी है आई विल सजेस्ट यू टू डू बोथ ऑफ देम टूगेदर दैट्स ऑल ऑनलाइन डिस इनहिबिशन एज वेल एज साइबर बुलिंग ठीक है साइबर बुलिंग रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू कैन फाइंड कंटेंट ऑन दिस ऑनलाइन ऑल्सो बट प्लीज वेरीफाई बिफोर यू सिंपली जस्ट गो टू विकिपीडिया एंड देन आई लाइक हाउ मिल गया एंड लास्टली डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड रेसिज्म सो पीस वायलेंस जो भी है वो आपको अगेन यू विल फाइंड इट इन गुड डिटेल सोशल साइकोलॉजी बुक्स इज वेल वॉट इज टोकनिज्म वॉट इज रेसिज्म वॉट इज एथनोसेंट्रिज्म वॉट इज डिस्क्रिमिनेशन आपको सब ये सोशल साइकोलॉजी में मिलेगा ठीक है so with that we have come to the end of our class thank you for joining me on a busy busy friday i hope you have a great rest of the day and i hope you like this class this is my overview of if you only had to take you know 10 to 12 books to refer to although you don't need to do this if you are coming and studying with me all right theek hai i hope you like this class if you did please share as much as you can please subscribe to the channel please like the video so that i know that i am doing okay Remember, if you are subscribing, today is the last day for the offer. Don't forget to use the code Hafsa Live. Ah, uh, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching my class and learning with me. I will see you soon. I will see you next week with a lot more content. Please take very good care of yourself. Bye.